Hi everyone and welcome to another tutorial here at www.unitycookie.com and this is just going to be a quick look at how you can swap between scenes in your game so in this case we have this uh, just pretend Super Zombie Smackdown 12 very long running title apparently uh, obviously very exciting let's take a look at how it works so we have an options menu we can swap to back to the start menu a quit button that would work if this were a standalone game of course and then a play now button which goes into the very exciting game and we can exit from that back to the start menu. So pretty simple, obviously not too much work into the visuals on this, but that'll be for you to do. Let's just look at how the actual uh, scene swapping works. So taking a look at the script that I have on each of the main cameras in each scene, this is just a quick script with some simple GUI. What we want to look at is what's doing the actual work. So if you look at this, you can see pretty quickly, I'm sure, click on the play now button and we call this, the options we'll call that, and the quit we'll call this here. So first of all, just to load any other scene in Unity, you simply do application dot load level and then type in the name of the level. So we have down here, you can see the different level names, level one, options, and start menu. And those are just the scenes. So of course, here's the options, here's level one, and here's the start menu. So simply type that in, same here for options. And then if you're going to quit the actual game, you just do application dot quit with parentheses at the end. Pretty straightforward. Uh, to make this work, also, you have to make sure you set up all your scenes in the build menu. So just go to File, Build Settings, and I already have these set up. I'll delete them to make it more obvious. From here, you simply select all of the scenes that you would like to be part of your build and drag and drop them up into the Scenes to Build area. Uh, and one more thing matters here you'll want to take whatever scene should be the first that starts up when your game starts drag it up to the very top and then that's going to be the first scene that pops up. It's usually a good idea also to have your levels, uh, if you have multiple of them especially, behind all the other scenes. That way, as I'll show in just a second, you can load the levels by the level number, the index here, versus just the actual name. So it makes it a lot faster for going from level 1 to 2 to 3 to 4, etc. without calling the, the name itself. So let's take a look how that might work. Close this out by going into the in-game. So let's go to level 1 and open up the in-game script which is again, uh, again it's just attached onto the main camera very simple, has an exit game button. So if we pretend that this was actually a let's make it a next level button now we want to load the level after this so what I can do is simply say level, and then a very handy little cheat We'll just do application dot loaded level. Now this will return the integer, uh, the index of the currently open level. I'll just do plus one. So once again, just to look at this, under the build settings, you can see that level one right here is an integer of two. And if we had a second level, it would become three and so forth. So that's the reason that you want to place all of your levels after the actual GUI here, just to make sure that they can go one, two, three on in a row like that. So with this application at loaded level plus one, it's just going to load up the next one. Very nice and simple. Let's just undo those changes so nothing's broken here. Also along those lines, you can enter in a direct number if you wish. So let's go back to, actually we'll just go back to the start menu. And if we look at the start menu script here, instead of loading the options level, I can just look up what its actual index is, in this case 1. I can just directly load level 1. And it'll do the same thing as typing in the name. That's good if you have long names or you just uh, need to load something directly and the name keeps changing, you're not sure, but you know the exact index. So good to use that at certain times. While we're looking at this, there's a couple tricks you can use with the application call. Number one, you can do application. Again, there's the loaded level and that will give you the number of the level, the index, let's call it index. You can do application dot loaded level name and that'll give you the actual name of the level that you have currently loaded and then you can do level count and this is sometimes useful to tell you just how many levels are in the entire game so handy in various areas and if you want to know more, there's lots uh, of 
really handy things you can do with this application call. Just of course select it, click on the arrow in the question mark, and there you go. Application. There's a lot of neat things you can do with this. Things like, you know, of course the quitting, cancel quit, load level in various different ways, check if it's running in the web player or if it's running in the editor. All sorts of nice things you can do with that. So a little more advanced stuff that you can look into there. And that's it for switching between levels. Thanks for checking it out, guys. See you in the next one.